Howdy folks, welcome to Plumbing with Tim. Today we're on location in Melbourne, Florida. All right, so we're just finishing up on a natural gas hot water heater. And today's lesson, I'm gonna show you the proper way to hook up your gas line, natural gas, up to your new water heater. Right here is our connection to our gas coming into the house. And it needs to get hooked up right here to our regulator on our gas water heater. So I'll show you the first step of how we need to go about doing that. First, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna remove this little cap from the orifice as you can see threaded inside of there as well. And we're gonna take the time to pull this cover off just like that. That's down there where the burners are and the igniter is. Now, when we got here and took the old water heater out, it had soft copper supply line. Went right into the heater like that. And there was nothing else but just that to the heater. That's wrong. I'm going to show you how to do this the proper way. We are going to install a drip leg, and I'm going to tell you what that's for and show you how to do that. We are working with galvanized piping here. This is half inch, half inch. This is a smaller nipple, a larger nipple, a T, as well as a cap. This is brass, which has a straight thread to flare. We're going to put this together and show you how this works. Taking our smaller nipple, rector seal, pipe dope. Don't need any Teflon on here. We're going to take our half inch T. And on the bull end of the T, that's where we're going to put our smaller of the two nipples. I'm not going to tighten it down all the way. Just hand tight for right now. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to put pipe dope on the other end as well. with we're going to take this end and we're going to put it into the female threaded end of the regulator I'm doing everything right now just hand tight so I'm doing that all right get about as tight as you can with your hands and here's the next step next we're going to take our larger of the two threaded galvanized nipples pipe dope and we're going to take a galvanized half inch cap also going to do this just hand tight. Yeah, just like that. Before we put other pieces on here, we're going to take a pipe wrench and put it right here on this hub. And as this tightens, it'll tighten that both at the same time. Check it out. See that? You don't have to blister tighten this, but it does need to be quite snug. And your end result, you need to have it so this T is straight up and down, just like that. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our longer threaded galvanized nipple, half inch, with a cap. We're gonna put this on the bottom end of that T. See how they're both tightening each other? Now we take a pipe wrench on here so these two can both tighten at the same time. What we have so far, so we have one more fitting that's gonna go up there and that's gonna be that half inch brass straight thread by flare pipe dope on the flat straight edge only and then we're going to mount it down in there all right so we're not going to use the old copper we're going to use a flex line hose it's got a flare end inside of there to flare flare to flare no pipe dope snug do not try to over tighten nothing. Just like that. And put it at the top of the sediment trap and tighten that down like that.
Okay, so the reason behind a sediment trap or a drip leg, as the gas enters into the water heater, before it gets there, if there's any kind of debris or sediment or little anything, it's designed to fall to the bottom down here instead of it getting sucked up into these precious little orifices inside of your regulator. Didn't require it back in the day, but this is 2020, and these kind of things are required uh, when you install your natural gas water heater. I still have to hook up the exhaust to this thing and everything like that. And of course, we all know that soap water solution to test all our joints uh, before we fire the water heater up, make sure there's no leaks or anything like that. That's all the time we got for this one. Thanks so much for hanging out and watching the video. These little sediment traps are required by code here in Central Florida when installing a gas water heater. We had to pull a permit for this job, so the inspector comes back. If he doesn't see it, he's gonna fail me. These things are necessary because that little bit of sediment and garbage coming in from the gas needs somewhere to go before it gets sucked up inside of that little regulator in the combustor. And next thing we got problems with a water heater. Well, we want that to happen. Got any questions, comments, leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, it's been Plumbing with Tim. Keep plumbing.